All right, so I guess it's time for me to do uh, part two of my uh, HT NT5 soundbar, Sony soundbar, because yesterday I ran out of memory and uh, I kind of ended the video half-assed. So let's go ahead and let's look. Just look how long this thing is. Look at this bar. Look. It's ridiculously long. That's what she said. Look, it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. And then, there it is. All right, so this is what we're going to do. As you can see, this is Mr. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. And what we're going to do, Mr. Apocalypse is we're going to play some audio playback and let's hear how well you sound mister apocalypse yes we are going to hear you that's correct mister apocalypse your voice is going to be presented by sony hd nt5 and uh, We'll see how well it's remastered. All right, but before I do anything, I just want to let you know I am using the HDMI uh, cable. The ARC is being connected directly here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's being connected directly right here to my uh, Samsung 4K player. Uh, the HDMI cable on the left is the one for the video. And the one on the right, it's for the uh, audio. It's like a separate audio arc that goes right here to this uh, high-res soundbar. All right, so let's uh, let's listen to Mister Apocalypse. Apocalypse, yes. Yeah, we are going to listen to it now. All right, so as you can hear it, sounds fantastic. Now, I know some of you have been telling me, hey, man, why don't you go get a receiver? Well, here's the thing, man. You know, if when I move into a house, you know, which I'm planning to do pretty soon, you know, move into a big house, then I can take an extra room or whatever. If, if, I, if I, let's say I got a three-bedroom or something, I can take that one room, dedicate that just one room to make a home theater experience you know put some uh, uh leather seats on there and stuff like that and then put some uh clips towers speakers and then hook up some state-of-the-art denon receiver that's twelve hundred dollars you know then you should invest into a home theater experience you know but for if you're like in the apartment man like a very small apartment dude this is like more than enough okay uh uh, HT NT5, it's more than enough for you to invest, you know. Granted, I have spent $600 on this thing, so, uh, well, technically, I didn't spend $600 because I returned the one that I had, so I basically only paid, uh, 
what is it, uh, $400. But still, this is a great surround sound speaker. Keep in mind, you can also add an additional receiver, uh, satellite receiver speakers in the back, so you can uh, expand your 5.1 discrete uh, surround sound experience, honestly. But I do have my Vizios. I don't know if you guys know that, but let me show you. I do have my Vizios right here. These are my Vizio uh, speakers. They're pretty good, man. I, I have them on this thing right here. Right there. On that little, like, uh, tripod that's holding it. And uh, they're pretty good. I have two of them, you know, in, in the rear. And, and they really sound pretty good. But compared to uh, Sony, I think Sony has this more robust, clear audio. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just more clear. This is not bad either. This this sounds pretty good too, but it's more bassy. It has a lot of bass. I don't like that. I like the clear sound. I want to hear every little tiny detail. Okay, I'm going to do one more scene with a Magneto because I don't want to get flagged by 20th Century Fox. Something tells me that 20th Century Fox will flag the shit out of me because uh, that's what they do. So here we go. Let's listen to a little bit more. Is she okay? It's his energy. He's drained. Get out. Get out! Get out! Professor, <laughs> Professor, it's okay. You're with us. It's okay. <laughs> So there you have it. This is a part two. It sounds great. Uh, obviously, my uh, camera its not doing it justice. This is something you have to experience. Uh, I don't know if this is the movie like to kind of showcase this. I think the best movie would be Star Wars or something like uh, Saving Private Ryan. Where there's a lot of like uh, explosions and stuff like that. That's where you're truly going to... Uh, hear this uh surround you know what i could i could try this really quick i could try one scene from saving private ryan just to see like really quick just how how loud this shit is all right so let's do this really quick all right change your plans we're gonna do captain uh america civil war uh by the way it's available on netflix so if you guys want to go check it out it's on netflix right now you don't have to wait for stars to see it you can check it out on netflix first so there you have it Apparently, Netflix has more money than stars to pay Disney and Marvel. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's listen to Disney's Marvel Civil War Captain America on this uh, kick-ass NT5 Sony surround sound. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. 2.1. 2.1 soundbar. Truck's loaded for max weight. And the driver's on. It's a battering ram. Go now. What? He's not hitting the police.
body armor. AR-15s. I make seven hostiles. I make five. Well, there you have it, guys. As you can tell, as you can hear, it sounds freaking awesome. So, and this is more than enough, honestly. If you are living in an apartment, small apartment, condo, whatever, uh, this is more than enough. 400 watts, it's more than enough, man, to shake the room. Especially if you're using a lossless, high-resolution HDMI uh cable being connected separately directly to your blu-ray 4k player now if you have a panasonic uh blu-ray player 4k blu-ray player that has that arc with that one you can get like even more better sound quality popping out of it so it all depends on your equipment honestly what kind of a 4k player you're using someone told me that uh xbox one has this firmware update for a preview uh program supporters where you can test out Dolby Atmos. The problem is my receiver doesn't support Dolby Atmos, so I will not experience any of that. In order for me to experience Dolby Atmos, I got to have a A Dolby Atmos receiver with uh, up-firing speakers uh, for both rear and left and right. Or I got to have a sound bar by Samsung that's capable of producing that. Okay, guys, so hopefully you like this part two better than part one. With this one, I try to show you a little bit more. I cannot guarantee you that Disney and Fox and Marvel won't, you know, flag me because of this. It's a fair use, but, hey, you know, it's their property. They can do what they please, you know. They're billionaires, billionaire company. All right, so there you have it, fellas. That's it.